All in readiness for the toss. Uh, let's go for it. Jyoti heads is the call. It is a tail. Yeah. So Bangladesh have won the toss. Uh, Jyoti, first and foremost, congratulations. You've won the toss. And what would you do? Uh, we like to ball. The Bangladesh captain have won the toss and elected to field first. First ball of the series. Off goes Marufa. Nicely driven. Finds the gap. Right away. Australia off the mark. Couple of runs to get the scoreboard rolling. Pull shot. And we'll get the first boundary. No chance for the fielder. From Sultana, the off spinner right away gets some turn. Oh, is that a wicket? Wow. First stop, first ball. Litchfield's gone. Bangladesh through Sultana gets the first breakthrough. With her torn off helmet, Ellis Perry, she's carried this all along her career. In the 30 yard circle. That was outside edge and was a chance for Bangladesh. Missed it. Chasing it. Saved the boundary. But there was absolutely a clear chance for Bangladesh. Bit of short delivery, back foot pull, nicely punched, and it's a boundary. Once again, outside, outside edge. edge, that should be out, finger goes up, another wicket for Bangladesh. Always have to give credit to the bowler. Sultana, again, with that ball straightening up, she wanted to go gung-ho through the leg side. Anticipate. It was once again a pace inside out shot. And there is that one fielder. Oh, now that's an appeal and she's given. Massive wicket for Bangladesh. It's the big fish. The Australian captain, Elisa Healy. She has to depart. And formalities really for the Bangladesh skipper to get rid of the Aussie skipper. Here's the wicket. Again, here's that line. The tempting the better. You were going to, now. The, it has uh, beaten the fielder, found the gap, and against adverse conditions, they found a boundary. Bounce came straight in, and the finger goes up. Brilliant from neither. First from the com box, and then the umpire. It was really plum. And uh, how things transpired, neither. She had a little chat with Nigar Sultana right before this delivery, and I think they were plying on this. Comes down the wicket, waits for the flight to dip down and times it nicely, finds the gap. She's shown patience. And Bangladesh looking to get their fifth wicket. That's why Jyoti is brought on Rah uh, Sultana. And on this occasion, a beautiful shot by Ash Gardner. Fahima with the wrong on. They're excited. Given is the big wicket of Beth Mooney. Just brushed the bat on the way. And she's gotten the breakthrough. That happens from the bowling of Fahima. Again, tossed up. Then Marupa with one. And Fahima. Got it. Now there was a catch in Afa. Dropped by Shobhana Mustari. Think it was Ashley Gardner. Yes, it was. Was looking for the big one, but dropped. Gardner's job so far. She's played a very good knock. 22 look the most comfortable and composed. She plays the late cut, finds the gap, a big chase for Fahima, and she gives up. Came down the wicket, she missed it, and finally, the chase was not successful. There is a deep mid wicket. Look, she went for the back foot, and then a very nice pull shot. And there was a room, there was a space, that's what we were talking about. Sultana. Turning the ball in towards, oh, that's gone. Square leg umpire raises his finger, neither celebrates. Yet another one bites the dust for Australia. The sixth wicket is gone. Ashley Gardner goes off for a well played 32, but neither gets her second. She came, she left the crease, and she thought she will get the ball into the slot, but it turned a lot than she expected. 
Lapson fielding again. It was well struck. She was on top of it. Was uh, Annabel Sutherland twice, thrice. Off the back foot. It was short. And I think she's got hold of it. Few bounces to the boundary from Annabel Sutherland. Uh, he's gonna... He's shown her inside out. Finds the gap. That's beautifully played by Annabel Sutherland. And we can see once again, just finding that gap. There's no space for... Goal! Yes! The slip is rewarded. Outside edge. Shorna gets the break to a brilliant catch by Nahida. I think it was Rabia in fact. Yes. Rabia takes a stunner in the slip cotton. And Georgia Wareham. See once again Shorna giving the ball a bit of loop. Turning sharply and an excellent catch. Very, very good catch taken there at first slip. Crisp shot of the back foot. And misfielding gifts Annabel Sutherland and Australia a boundary. Quite a few 30 plus partnerships in between. That was flighted, but that was a full toss. Dispatched onto the boundary for the first six of the innings. This is the first six of this innings, and uh, there was a flighted delivery. She got it. It was a very famous tie. Last year in June, that was cut away and cut away nicely. Finds the gap, Alana King. Stands her ground, a solid base and a solid hit out of the park. Oh, what a shot that is. Will it go again? This time, bigger. It's another six. Struggling right now, Faima. Again, this time she employs the slog sweep. Finds the gap again. Two fielders there. Just couldn't get it. Another boundary. Lana King. 34. Oh my goodness. Is it once again? Or will it be a catch? No, it's a six. This is a Lana King for you. That is truly superb. Massive over. Massacre in the last over. Another one. This is flat. And this also goes all the way. What an over for Australia and what a way to finish the innings. Swing, an offer, but down the leg. Field that has been set. Shoot going for the in-swinger. This time gets the outside edge. The first wicket for Australia. An outside edge well taken behind the stumps by Skipper. Not troubling the scorers there, Pinky. Just look at the swing that shoot extracted. Was prodigious swing. Flick it. This time she does. Nice glance down the leg. The ball races off and goes to the boundary. This time driven well. Finds the gap. The ball's racing through the carpet. And Murshida finds her second boundary. See what goes off in the next ball. That's driven. Finally back to ball. Is there a fielder? There's no one patrolling the third man region. An outside edge goes off to the boundary. What Shomano and Ahmed bin Parvez were talking about. Oh my goodness. Whenever I was talking about staying on the wicket. Now this is the time for the captain to come and to take the responsibility. It is difficult for batting now. A big shot comes out. Finally, pressure released. Nigar Sultana Jyoti gets her first boundary. That's uh, giving Jyoti some trouble. And there you see the outside edge induced. But just past the first slip and it will run all the way. So Jyoti now thinking about playing the paddle and the ball goes past the wicket keeper. It will be wide plus four runs. So five runs in total as Wareham continues. That's the delivery that captain wants from you. It was about to kiss the edge. Trying to bring the ball in from that angle. And it's causing staying on the wicket, defending the ball. That is necessary because the bad ball will come and you will charge it. This is the way. She played it late and beat the fielder. Will get a boundary. Nigar Sultana Jyoti. And it would come in handy in the end. Got beautiful cut shot there from Subhana Mustari. There is a big gap behind square and that's where 
She wanted to go, but the ball goes and crashes onto the stumps instead. Subhana Mostari, right after the drinks break, has to depart. And I did say that Bangladesh would hope not, but they've managed to take the wicket of Subhana Mustari round the legs, wrapped around the legs. Full delivery flight, and she was down. That was a slower one. Change of pace. Is there an opportunity? Oh my goodness. A comedy of errors amplified by that direct hit. And another wicket falls for Bangladesh. This was unfortunate, but the mix up resulted in a run out to go. That was a slower one. She played a nice drive, but look at that effort there. Brilliant fielding. And looking for something. Once again, a fuller delivery. And now, does the umpire budge? He goes upstairs to the third umpire. Look at that. Ah. Made by Mushad Ali Khan. The stumps are close to being hit. And here is another wicket. This is absolutely unfortunate. Again, played on the onside. A quick single taken. There was a fielder there. Shit. Shit. What happened? What happened? There is an appeal for the run out. Probably isn't down on time as we can see the stumps being broken. Another wicket down and this time this is the captain of Bangladesh, Nigar Sultana Jyoti. That was really lazy effort. You cannot do it. As you go deeper into the batting order. Goes for the big one. Went straight up. Catch is an offer. It's a good catch taken. Sean after the latest casualty. It was a length delivery. Hit the deck hard. It was full. Drivable length, but not timed well there. Your back is pinned. Oh, brilliant delivery from Kim Garth. It was full skid on. Did not let Rabia get out of the crease in any way. She got stuck. Much easier. This time she goes big. A one-handed hoik. Is there a fielder there? She is there. What promised to be a competitive match when Bangladesh bowled gradually turned into an absolute Aussie domination. Ashley Gardner gets her second as we look at the catch from Ellis Perry fresh off the WPL victory with Royal Challengers Bangalore. More and more people will be attracted towards this game and as I say it the umpire raises his finger Ash Gardner has the final wicket and that's the match for Australia, they've won handsomely. Ash Gardner finishing the job in this over. And really, a thoroughly well-deserved victory for Australia, who take a 1-0 lead, winning by 118 runs. Match summary, Australia women's 213 for 7. Annabelle Scoring 58, not out. And Elena King with a handy 48 of just 31. 32 and 25 from Gardner and Mooney as well. For Bangladesh, Sultana Khatun and Nahid Akhtar picked up two. In response, Bangladesh just played 36 overs. 95 all out. A dominating win by Australia by 118 runs. For more update, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Download T-Sports app to enjoy exciting games and highlights. Visit tsports.com.